This is my 1993 Mazda RX-7 and I have a 2006 Viper V10 drivetrain in it. So I've got about five years and 5,000 hours into this build. I bought it just as a completely gutted shell and I did the Shine Auto wide body kit on it yeah. and then just completely cut the car apart and build the car around the drivetrain. So I had to do custom subframe, custom oil pan, um, oil pickup, transmission tunnel, firewall, yeah. all the gears, all the shifter and I mean, it worked, everything works out. It's just everything was a problem. So this is the only finished Viper swap yeah. uh, RX-7 that I know of right now. So there's no way that you can go online and just Google how to fix a problem. So it's just a lot of time. Speaking out of yourself. Exactly, yeah. So you just, yeah, keep hitting it with a hammer till it works. Set that. Yeah. And how does it feel like after driving? Like, it drives really good. Yeah. Uh, so the biggest misconception people have with this is they think the weight distribution is going to be really wrong. Uh, the thing though is it's only about 150 pounds heavier. Yeah. Because um, the 13B that comes out of it is all cast iron and this is all aluminum instead. Okay. So it's about a one to 2% weight shift in the car. Um, and I did custom spring rates throughout, new uh, Fortune Auto coilovers, and then Ford 8.8 .8 independent rear suspension in the back. So it handles really good, it pulls hard, makes about 550 foot pounds of torque, 550 horsepower, and it's about 500 pounds lighter than the Viper that it came out of.